Hey everybody, how are you doing? This is uh, the Arashiyama Bamboo Grove, or the Bamboo Forest, in Kyoto. And I uh, just thought we'd take a little walk through this and check out this, uh, this beautiful pathway here. So, as you can see, it's bamboo trees as far as the eye can see. The, the trail here, I don't know exactly how long it is, but... Um, it's quite a while and it has a few different branches you can take, no pun intended, as well as a few other things too. Just pointing out the young bamboo trees there, you can kind of see the sprouts popping up. When they're young, the, the tips are pointed and uh, the color is kind of uh, a brownish color. There's a graveyard back there but that's kind of blocked off for people who actually have business there. You can see there's lots of people in kimonos and uh, yukata walking around, which is pretty common to see in Kyoto, almost anywhere. But this is a, a really picturesque spot, obviously, so a lot of people come here to get their photos together and things like that. This was interesting. This was like a tiny little model of a shrine which was funny, it was just sort of there along the walkway, just stuck in there. It wasn't even pointed out, and there's a real shrine behind it. I have no idea why that was there, but it just was. And it's pretty tall. Uh, it goes way, way up and way, way back. And I like how all these fences are uh, just grass, or I don't know, some kind of branches or grass. I don't know how often they have to change them, but it's a nice touch instead of just a normal, a normal fence. Some building back there. And then that's the front of it. That looks like maybe it's a, a temple or something. I don't know. People do live around here, um, just off to the sides of these trails. Like that, I don't know if that's a house or if that's for another graveyard, but there are houses once you get off these main paths. Uh, yeah, see, that's a graveyard there. And more kimono people. And more kimono people. <laughs> but yeah, it would be a really nice place to live. It, it's, despite all the tourists, is actually really peaceful. The sound of the wind and the bamboos uh, you can hear the trees slowly creaking and just the wood bending or knocking into itself. It's it's really pleasant. And it looks like in some of them it's like that, just completely clear. And then other spots there's more kind of moss or rocks and things. You can kind of see there's stones back there, and once in a while there'll be kind of a regular tree popping up. But it's pretty clean down there. People wrote their name into the trees, you shouldn't really do that, but bamboo is pretty strong, pretty sturdy, so it takes a lot to hurt bamboo. There's a map, a really old, worn out map. So you can see the yellow there is kind of the different streets or paths you can take. So it is a residential area, kind of. We're just trying to figure out where we are, which way we should go next. That led up to somewhere, I'm not sure, but there was another path going up. But um, a lot of these little spots were blocked off, so they're probably for people that work here or some special events. Down there are train tracks. You can just kind of make them out. Because I think you can take a train to go around. Oh, that's, uh, I don't know, that tree had some kind of infection or problem. It was weird. But anyways, you can take a train all around uh, to see some of the sights or get between places, I guess. Or you can take a rickshaw. As you can see here, there were guys all over the place offering rickshaw rides. This guy's going to take their picture in this picturesque spot. I have some other videos in this area that are of shrines in the bamboo forest, but I think I'll make those separate videos because I didn't want this to go on for too long, and I think they're pretty nice, so they get their own separate video. So uh, 
once I get those up, I'll put an annotation here for that. But yeah, if you are looking for, I mean, this is a very famous spot to come visit in Kyoto. So, and it, it's really quite nice and peaceful. So if you're looking for something like that, I highly recommend it. Oh, and by the way, that grows about that big in about a week. This is what the rickshaw guy said. Amazing. Anyways, that's it for me. So thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, leave it in a comment below. Bye-bye.